Similarly, in our own situation, you can have whipping up of emotions uh, under the guise of and inspired by what are sound radical sounding slogans. And at the end of the day, the radical sounding slogan doesn't in any way match the reality of uh, the actual delivery that will take place to the constituency that is actually being rallied. So I think in the more recent times you've heard uh, some articulate radical economic transformation in a particular way, and you've had others articulating it in a very different way. And the others, are me amongst them, so let me confess that, although we're not with the Pope or anything like that, uh, would be amongst those who are arguing that economic transformation must be for the benefit of all 50 million people in South Africa. The others would actually articulate it in a way in which it's designed to mislead people that if we do these extremely so-called radical things, uh, they would benefit, but ultimately it's a small elite that actually benefits as well. And that's gonna be part of the contestation that takes place in South Africa around, around those sorts of issues.